How's it going, my friends? This is Anakis, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Cybertron Blur. Uh, he is a remold of Transformers Armada Blur. And I picked him up at a show I did this past weekend in my time. Uh, so I've been happily going over these him and the others since. So let's go ahead and get a closer look and welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. And so here we have Blur. And he looks good. He's got all the blue, the grays on the arm, different shades of blue on the legs, lighter blue and the red on the arms. And the big shoulder pad thingies. A huge freaking backpack he has. Uh, I like this character. I like the character in the Gen 1 and in Armada. This is a combination of the two. It's a Gen 1 head sculpt, which looks really good. Probably better than most of the recent Blur heads. So that's cool. Uh, and of course, you got the Armada Blur body. I got him in the lot that we have the recent show. Unfortunately, he was the one that was missing the most accessories. He was missing both his missiles and one of his guns and the planet key. Got one of the guns sitting right there. But is what it is. Uh, head can rotate 360. The arms can rotate upward, but that's mainly for the transformation, and it looks weird. Uh, there's a double jointed bend at the elbow. The arms can go side to side. No way swivel. Legs can go forward, but they can go sideways to an extent. There's supposed to be a a knee bend, I thought. But I guess not. Maybe I just don't have the legs pulled out far enough. There's a oh, there's a bend right there. That's where the bend is at. And the toes can go like this. So I mean, he's not very posable, but he looks nice. And well, that's all I can really say. I like the character. I like the figure. It looks good standing still. His playability is a little off kilter, yes. But it is what it is. Whereas transformation, you rotate these up like this. You bring the arms up and bend them like that. And you slide them back like that. Do the same on that side. His head straight. Bring the arms forward and slide them down. Then you can fold that piece in. And do it on that side. And they kind of can peg together in here. Right like that. Pull that side in. You go to the feet, you fold the back heels in, and you fold the toes in, and you just collapse the legs in. And there you have the car mode. The remold for this from the Armada Blur to the Cybertron Blur is these here. The top parts here are different. 
Because that's where the mini cons would sit. There's no mini con. Take your key. And you can plug it in right there. And that's supposed to be allow him to have his like hover mode. And then cannons, his guns, just kind of peg into there. But I only have one gun and no missiles, so. He's kind of disappointing. But he still is fantastic. I, I like the figure. That's my personal preference. And I like the red stripe down the middle. That's different. I mean, the cockpit silicon. Sort of like that. I like the flying mode because I mean, tracks from Gen 1 was one of my favorite characters because he had the flying mode as a car. And he's very sleek. Got the red stripes on the side there, too. Blue is nice. Yellow is a headlights. I believe there's a, a toy hack set for him to give him more details, but I don't remember. This is cool looking car mode. I believe there's a red version of him too. It was Swerve or Excellion. You know, the, the Swerve, the red, one of the red repaints for this was the Armada mold our modern version was red and it was called swerve the red version of this was excellion which was i think hot shots name in galaxy force i'm not sure let me go ahead and get him back into his robot mode, and I'll give you my final thoughts in just a moment. So, our, mo our Cybertron Blur isn't the best figure, and his posability is definitely hampered due to his backpack and transformation, no waist swivel, no really good arm articulation. Sorry. Shoulder articulation. It just hampers everything. But, I mean, he looks good. Unfortunately, he... This... Mine lacks his accessories. He's only got one gun, but no missiles. No planet key. So, that... Kind of... Throws off his aesthetic a lot. When I was transforming him, I forgot about this piece right here. It's supposed to fold up. It's useless. It's just adding on something, but whatever. But, uh... Unfortunately, I have to give him a 7 because he's missing accessories. He's not a really good, that good of a figure. A lot of our model ones are always are hit or miss. He is mediocre at best. Although, I like him, but that's my personal opinion. Everybody else really can't go by what I say. Because, I mean, you can say, oh, hey, Ionic is like this figure. Let me check him out. Oh, he's not really that great. He was right, but he's okay. I didn't... He, he goes for, this version of Blur goes for about 15, 20 bucks online. Complete. So, it's an easy buy. That's cheaper than normal retail for newer figures. Yeah, shipping handling could be possibly, but whatever. If you want to fill out your Cybertron ranks for the Speed Planet, which is where Blur was from, fine. If not, he's an easy pass. He's a I say get them, but I mean, you don't, it's not a high priority. Like I said, if you want to build up your ranks, then he's good. If not, forget about it. I love the head sculpt though. That is his redeeming quality is the head sculpt is amazing. This blur, this head sculpt, I think is better than Titans Return, Studio 86, the Legacy. I think it was a Legacy one and a Studio 86 one. Well, all the, the three more modern blurs 
this head sculpt beats them all. Because I like this head sculpt. I can't keep raving about it. It is what it is. So if you like Blur, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.